What's going on everybody? Welcome back to JJD TV. I'm producer T. Today I'm going to be doing my Euro 2020 predictions. We we're gonna do Josh's, had some power issues. We still might do them at some point, but today you have me. Not even a member video. If you want to get more videos of me, of course, then become a member at the Superstar Holland tier. We have, I think, two in there right now, and they're getting crazy good videos. There's been two videos so far. But if you want to see more of those, definitely go and become a member on our channel, and then you get more of me. So, all right, more of that. We're going to go in. I am on the UEFA 20, the UEFA.com, and they have their UEFA Euro 2020 predictor, where you go through, you predict the group stage, you then predict the round, and you finally predict who you think is going to win the Euro 2020. So I'm going to jump in here. I am going to see if I can do okay. I'm going to see if I can predict what the Euro 2020 is. I am a new football fan. We know this. We've discussed this on the channel very much, that before this season, I loosely followed the sport, but now I'm totally invested. JJD TV has really brought that out of me. So we're going to see if I have any knowledge whatsoever on international football. So let's jump in here to Group A. And so Group A, we have Switzerland, Turkey, Wales, and Italy. So right off the bat, you have a favorite. You get to look at the Group A details, and that kind of shows, I guess, the most popular predictions. And yeah, there's your favorite right there. It's Italy at the top spot. So going off of that, I personally also think that Italy is going to be the top spot just based on the squad they have compared to the other squads. The other squads are mediocre to like they're they're middle tier teams but i don't think anybody's going to be able to give italy a run for their money for the second spot i'm probably just based off of my knowledge personally i'm going to go with switzerland actually and then following that with turkey and wales so that is my group a sorry wales Group B, we got a powerhouse in Belgium in there. And then we have Russia, Denmark, and Finland. So, with Belgium being one of the favorites of the entire tournament, I'm going to have them in the first place there. And then, of course, BVB Blood, we've got to have the Dane train, Thomas Delaney, coming in there in the second spot. I think Denmark's going to get second here. I think Russia will do all right and get third in that and then Finland sorry nothing not not enough yet okay let's move on to group C we have Austria North Macedonia Ukraine and the Netherlands the Netherlands is my heritage I am Dutch I my grandparents were born and raised there escaped during World War II and then raised my dad and then got to me so the Netherlands is a big part of my heritage. So I am going to put them first, not just based off my heritage. They are definitely the best team in this pool, so I will put them there. And then it really, it it goes off for me there. I, I'm not sure who to put. I'm not confident enough in North Macedonia to do anything in this group, really. And then between Austria and Ukraine, you know what? Just based on more players that I know, I'm going to go on Ukraine. And then Austria... North Macedonia, although they did beat Germany, so I, I don't know. It, they could... No, let's do it. Let's do it. North Macedonia over Austria. We'll see. We'll see. Okay, we got Group D. We have Scotland, England, Croatia, and Czech Republic. They are... Yes, they are Republic still. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, so in that, I got you got to say the clear favorite in that group is England. They're going up there, of course. And then after that, um, I don't know. I guess I would probably say Croatia's probably got the next best team. They've done some great things internationally, but I don't know. I guess an underrated country. And then I guess my knowledge, I'll go Scotland next and then Czech. I'm probably completely wrong there, but that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to see what everybody else is saying. Yeah pretty close they're just switching Czech and Scotland so I don't know I have Andy Robertson in my ultimate team and I'm going to put him and his international team in third place 
Okay, we got Group E. We've got Poland, Spain, Sweden, and Slovakia. So, I'm going to say Spain's got to be the favorite in that. And then, after that, you've got... Based off of the blood that's gone through Borussia Dortmund, I'm going to say Poland is the second spot. After that, we've got Sweden and Zlatan right there. He's coming. He's just defying physics. And then uh, Slovakia at the end there. Okay, we got Group F, the group of death for most of these teams. It, it's France at the top. It's got to be. They, on paper, are by far the favorites of this tournament, it's definitely in this group. And then it goes down to Portugal and Germany, I'd say, for the second spot in, like, Portugal's got some great pieces. Germany's got great pieces, but it seems like they're kind of in a in a transition phase that maybe not this year, but then a couple years down the line, they're going to be a competitor. So, but you know what? I I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna put Germany in second actually, and then I got Portugal coming in third and Hungary in last. Good luck in that group, Hungary. I feel for you. Okay, our next thing, we are predicting the four best third place teams. So, I guess there's some that might stand out more than others. I'm going to have to say Portugal, definitely, 100%. And then I'll say Sweden. Um, I'll go Turkey and... I don't know. I don't think anybody has any faith in Scotland, but I'm going to give it to them. We'll see what happens here. Okay. Nearly there. Now to predict the knockout stage. Okay, we've got Belgium versus Sweden. Big match here, but I think it's got to go to Belgium. They're definitely one of the best teams in this tournament, and I think they're going to do very well. So they have to get through this round of 16 in order to do well. So we'll see that. And then we have Italy and Ukraine. I'm going to have to give it to Italy. Yep. Nothing much to say about that. France and Turkey, that would be a huge upset. Anybody beating France would be a huge upset, but I'm going to say it's got to be France. They're coming in as a heavy favorite, and I think they're going to prove people that that's there's a reason why they're the heavy favorite. They're a great team. Uh, Poland and Croatia. It's got to be Poland. Robert Lewandowski is going to put on a show, in my opinion, in this tournament, and we're going to see uh, what, what a lot of Dortmund fans are very upset about. And we got Spain and Scotland. We're going to go with Spain. Scotland, sorry I've been sticking with you for this whole tournament, but your run's got to come to an end at some point, and I think it's going to be to Spain here in the round of 16. Going to the next match, we have England and Germany. That's a huge match. This, def I'd say that's the biggest game. Yeah, definitely it's the biggest game in the round of 16. It's, it could go either way. Let's see. Uh, we no, see, nobody, there's nothing there, so... Yeah, so I I don't know. I think Germany is, like I said earlier, they're in a bit of a transition phase. So I'm going to say England is going to squeak one out. That's going to be a tight game. I think it could be very close. It could even, I don't know if it goes to penalties. I should probably have looked that up. But we'll see. We'll see. I don't know. It'll be very close. Now we have the Netherlands and Portugal in the round of 16. And with no Virgil van Dijk, um, I think that's a huge blow to the Netherlands back end. And I think Portugal is going to take them out here, unfortunately, because I would love to see the Netherlands do well. And then Switzerland and Denmark. We got to keep that uh, Dane train rolling. And I'm going to say Denmark's going to take that one. Could be very wrong on all of these, but we're going. We're going. We're figuring it out. Belgium and Italy. These matches are getting tighter and tighter, and I'm going to have a harder time predicting every single one of these matches from here out, of course. So I'm going to say Belgium in this one because they are obviously a huge favorite as well. And we got France and Poland, and I think France is going to roll most of this tournament. They might have a weird upset, but I, I'm thinking it's got to keep going here, and France is going to knock out Poland in the round of eight, the quarterfinals. We have Spain. We have England. What what can I say here? I, I don't know what to say here. I think that England has some great young talent. I don't know much about Spain. But 
I am going to say that Spain is going to win that one. We're going to see that. That wasn't any mini money mode. That was just, that yeah, was kind of a guess. And we got Portugal and Denmark. Sorry, Denmark. I think it's going to come to an end here. And we have Portugal. So we've got heavy hitters in the semifinals here. We have Belgium. We have France. We have Spain. We have Portugal. This, this, this is very hard to choose at this point here. I think here, just based off of the rosters and the players that are in this, I, I think France is going to the finals. This is going to be probably the match of the tournament. Probably two favorites in the whole tournament. But I think France is going to beat Belgium to go to the finals. And they are going to play... Portugal. Portugal has had an easier run compared to all these other teams in the knockout stage. And then it's going to come down to France and Portugal. And being obvious and new and picking favorites, I think France would be the clear winner of this tournament. So I'm going to give it to France. They've got an incredible team. Uh, it'll be amazing to see what they can come up with. So... I guess those are my predictions for the Euro 2020 or 2021, whatever you want to say, because it is happening in 2021. But yeah, so I have predicted France. Let me know what you guys think. Leave a like, leave a comment. Tell me what you're thinking. Tell me who I totally messed up on. Tell me if I'm even close to what's going to probably happen in this tournament. I don't know. I'm a new fan. I basically go off of what I know from players and that's it. I don't know the history of these clubs playing each other because I wasn't following at the last Euro. So I guess we'll see what happens here. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want to see more, become a member. And after that, yeah, I'll see you guys soon. So do one of Josh's salutes. And then I guess we'll see you guys next time.